Tear resistance is measured by test method ASTM D1922. This test method evolved out of the paper industry. What it consists of is notching a piece of film, like so, and then hitting it with a 1600 gram weight at a specific speed. And what we do is we measure the amount of force that it takes to make the film break. Now it's important to measure both the machine direction and the transverse direction to find out whether we've got a balanced film or whether something has more strength in either the transverse direction or the machine direction. I have a video about those two terms if you don't know what they mean. So what we've done here is we have put a notch in this piece of film here and now we're going to actually destroy it. Here we go. All right. Now, film is broken and here we have the actual values. I don't know if it, it showed it, if you can see that, but it says 1113 grams is the amount of force that it took to break that. So if this showed up on a spec sheet or a typical property sheet, it would say that it had a tear resistance of 1133 grams. Of course, we have to turn it the other direction to get a reading on uh, the other direction. I don't even know whether we grab the transverse or machine direction for the sample. It doesn't really matter. Now you know about how to measure tear resistance 